Hey everybody, welcome to the Solar Sistar channel. It's your girl, Solar Sistar, coming to you once again with another video. Y'all, I wanted to come on here real quick because I wanted to share something with you. I have decided that I am gonna be in the taxi business. What? You're gonna be in the taxi business? Yeah. <laughs> am, am I gonna be driving the taxi? No. Am I gonna be in the taxi business? Yes. And I'm going to tell you how. Before we move forward, though, if you would go ahead and thumbs up the video, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell if you want to be made aware of any upcoming videos. Also, feel free to share the video. So listen, I actually um, have talked to several people about how much people make, you know, doing this shuttle service, the taxi business here in the Gambia. Now, one thing about the Gambia that I noticed right off the rip was that there were no buses here. You know, there are no buses here. And so I think someone had mentioned to me once before that they tried some type of bus service here. I don't know what happened to the buses. Y'all, what happened to the buses? But anyway, I don't know what happened to the buses, but this that is something that is needed probably uh and it's gonna be needed soon here in the Gambia. I don't know about the infrastructure. I don't know if buses could basically handle these roads. I mean like a lot of buses, because I do see tour buses here and there, but I'm just talking about as far as like mini buses um traveling on these roads um but that's something you know come on government come on somebody um somebody who has a private uh wants to start a private business some bus service that's something y'all could do um anyway moving on to what i was talking about about this venture i um decided that i am going to be in the taxi business so I am not driving a taxi, but um, I have um, invested in a business where um, there is someone who is going to be driving a taxi um, for me and my partner. So what the proposal that we've placed on the table, I think is a very good proposal. And I've read an article, I want to say maybe a a few weeks ago, I read an article where they were talking to different taxi drivers and most of the taxi drivers here drive for somebody else. And after they pay the owners, whatever the owners are saying they need to be paid, the, the drivers usually walk away with, you know, chump change, whatever. And they're struggling to try to take care of their families and do whatever. But the proposal that I have on the table is one that if a driver hustles, they can hustle and make as much money as they want. Um, because again, my goal is not to um, make it where people can't eat. My goal is to try to set people up where they're making a great wage where they can start um, putting some of their dreams forward, you know, uh, making some of their dreams a reality. So I think the proposal that is on the table, the driver is happy about. Um, now we had to actually do some things to the vehicle, but for the past, the two days that he was able to drive the vehicle, he did the dog gone thing. And so once we get the vehicle back, um, which should be Monday, so he's been off the um, off of the car. He'll be off of driving today, tomorrow. And so hopefully he'll be back on Monday. So what we were doing was a 30-day trial run. So we're going to start his 30 days over on Monday or whatever day, you know, we get the car back. Uh, we'll start his 30 days over. But the two days that he was in the vehicle, I am excited about what I'm seeing. And so anyway, um, one thing that um, I did before we move forward with the um, proposal, I did the budget to figure out, you know, exactly what was needed, you know, so that we could pay back all of the expendi expenditures. Now, of course, when you're in business, until you've actually paid yourself back for everything, all the expenses, you're not able to make a profit. 
That's not profit. It's not profit until you've paid yourself back everything that you've put into the business. But based on the proposal uh, and the way he's rolling, um, hopefully those expenditures will be taken care of in the next six to seven months. Um, but either way, I'm just excited that this young man has um, a job and has an opportunity to be able to uh, just grow his own income. You know, there's no limit to how much, you know, he can make if he's willing to hustle. And luckily we have a person who actually knows where the crowd is, knows where the money is, you know, knows where the people are really needing rides. And speaking of that, um, I'm going to put in the description, um, the name of my partner, um, Alex, he's the one who is going to be, uh, if you need to have someone pick you up to take you to the airport or do whatever, um, uh, arrangements can be made, um, with Alex and he'll, con you know, put you in contact with the driver or he'll contact the driver to set up, you know, the time for you to be picked up and so forth. And I want you all to know that this is a safe Taxi, it's one that has all the necessary paperwork that is required. Uh, it is a commercial vehicle. It's listed as a commercial vehicle because one thing that I do know here in the Gambia, there are people who are using their private vehicles as taxis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but because we're trying to do everything on the up and up, of course, there's a little bit more of an expense added. But I'd rather things be done properly on the front end so that there is no issue, you know, on the back end. So, like I said, so far, this young man, I'm excited. And I think he's excited with the proposal as well, because in any um, investment or business situation, you want it to feel like a win-win, you know, for everybody. So there's buy-in. Um, for him as the driver to make sure that the car is taken care of a certain way. And there's, of course, buy-in, you know, from us as the owners and partners and so forth to make sure that um, we have um, the vehicle is up to standard and has the necessary paperwork and so forth. So I'm happy about that. Now, next venture. There um, is an opportunity for someone or some people, if you know some braiders or if you are a braider and you're out there and you're just looking for a good spot to be able to braid your client's hair, talk to me. Um, my email information is in the is going to be in the description. And um, I will also put um, my WhatsApp number there if you want to give me a call so that we can talk. Because I'm just trying to find opportunities to give people um, just a chance to be able to grow a business. You might already be doing braiding, but if there's a way for you to be in a, in a place where you can um, braid more hair and feel like, um, you know, you have a space for your clients to come. Yeah, that's I want to talk to you and figure out, you know, how I can assist. Um, and just talk about, you know, a proposal, you know, where it's a win-win situation for you as the braider and, of course, me as an investor. So with all of that being said, y'all, there are a lot of things that are happening in the Gambia. Um, everything does not have to be a large-scale situation. All I can say is just get over here and find out um, where you can help, find out how you can bring something um, to the table that may not already be here. One thing that I do know about the Gambia, um, there are hardworking people here. I think that as diasporans, we were hardworking as well, but what we can bring to the table is maybe some organization and some systems that we may have learned, um, in the West that may help people be a little bit more efficient doing what they're doing already. 
So that's all I got to say, y'all. I have already gone a lot longer than I <laughs> than I meant to go. I'm getting ready to go open up this shop now. I'm already late. Well, I said I was going to open up it too, so I'm not late. Anyway, I'm, I'm about to be late. <laughs> but guys, like I always say, if you cannot do anything else, protect your head space, protect your heart space, guys, and keep your vibration high. It's your girl, Solar Sister. Until the next one, peace.